smile. She's had that throughout this series, and it has been infectious. Now she goes for the championship with a program that's become her signature piece this season. I Love You Always Forever by Donna Lewis. something going on in this program. series of programs for Yuka Sato. So dominant, but in a way that's friendly, in a way that's fun, and a pure enjoyment of her skating that she shares with everyone. When we come back, we'll tell you and all the skaters backstage what the scores are. McDonald's not so... You'd think fatigue would be a factor in this competition, not for Yuka. Look at this triple loop that she opened her program with. She leans on that edge, she jumps straight up in the air. It's beautiful air position. Comes down on one foot right there. You'll see the flow out. Great control on the landing. Triple toe loop right after that. The other triple she did in this program goes straight up. Just fights for that landing. It looked like her left hip was a little bit open, but she was strong enough to save it. And her feet never stopped moving throughout the entire routine. Always interpreting the music. Always reaching out to the audience. Kept it going throughout. And ends this nice little footwork sequence with a nice big smile. Isn't this fun? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, five, five eights will be enough to give Yuka the title. Well, these marks are good, but you know, artistically, if she goes down to like five six or five F, she could lose this competition. Two six point oh, a 
again, so versatile. There's nothing wrong with her skating. There's no weaknesses. She's really established herself as a great professional competitor, winning every single competition, every single program throughout the series. She won. She must have won by 50 points. Well, it wasn't close for Yuka Sato. A convincing win with a total of 177. Denise Bielman finishes in second place, 173.8, followed by Jose Schwinnard and Karen Cadavy. Let's go down to Andrea Joy. All right, thanks, Tracy. Yuka, congratulations. You dominated this competition from start to finish. What does it mean to you to win this title the second straight year? Obviously, um, to win for first time, is it, what, it was a little different, but then to win so many times in a row is really hard and I really realized it <laughs> well you worked very hard throughout this competition do you um, we were wondering it didn't seem like you seemed tired at all I was very tired but um, this number really helped that uh, it's uh, you can have a lot of fun is this about the most fun you've ever had in your career um, I think so yeah <laughs> congratulations thank you thanks Andrea tonight on CBS Sunday